I wanted to also, as you think, thinking of startups, having uh, started a startup before and led one, uh, you also now uh, partner with startups in your current role. I know you've uh, even taken investment positions in them and board board seats in startups uh, in, in the present and past as well. Talk a bit about the importance of partnering with startups as establishing a better ecosystem to deliver all that you've described. Yeah, great question. You know, I would I would uh, recommend uh, to your read, to your listeners uh, John Chambers. He has a podcast and he also writes about this topic, and I think he does a great job covering this topic. Um, and a phenomenal leader. At the end of the day, you know, we we all have our core strengths in our businesses, and startups are often, in some cases, really leading breakthrough capabilities in, in different different areas. And part of what they're looking for also, like we discussed earlier, it's a similar model. They're looking for those partnerships to accelerate those feedback loops as they harden their products. Um, but we believe that they're a very important part of the ecosystem. You know, it's building an ecosystem that includes startups, includes academia, and includes our large, um, large partners, like the large technology companies that are out there. Um, but in some cases, to your point, Peter, we've also taken strategic interest in companies to accelerate them and to build a competitive advantage within our business, whether it's on the forefront of digital factories and applying machine learning and AI on the factory floor, or it's you know making the packages smarter. And so we're very much open to and continue to engage with startups. And uh, we would welcome any, you know, any startups that are in the space to uh, reach out and engage with us as we build these core strategic areas of focus that we discussed in the conversation today. 